Hello, thank you so much for spending some time with me today. My name is Celia Alves, and today I have an awesome tip for you about how we can very easily copy queries from one workbook to another one. So we have two workbooks open side by side. And if we open the queries and connections pane on each one of the workbooks, to do that, we can go to the data tab and then click the button queries and connections or show queries depending on the Excel version that you are using. We can see that the first workbook has a few queries already built and the second one does not have any queries yet. Before we start copying queries from the first workbook to the second one, let me show you the different situations we have here in terms of how many data sources each one of the queries have and how the different queries relate or depend on each other. To do that, let's come here to data, get data, launch Power Query Editor. And once on the Power Query Editor, on the View tab, I have a button that says Query Dependencies. Let me, this opens a new window. We can center the diagram using this button here, fit to screen on the top bottom right corner. And in here, we can see all the queries that we have on the workbook number one. For example, the employees query, it tells me that it comes only from one external file and by hovering the mouse on the icon that represents that file, I can see the path for that file and I see that it's an Excel file, XLSS extension. And then this query feeds the sales final query. The same thing, exact thing happens with the products query and with the stores query. Each one of these individual queries read from the external Excel workbook and feed the sales final query. Then we have a sales reports data query that when we click on it, it highlights all the queries that come before and after. And we can see that this one is reading data from a folder of files. And of course, when we build a query that reads from a folder of files, uh, Power Query creates helper queries. So we have the transform and the sample file parameter and other queries here. But in reality, as you can see, the, for this query to work, it only needs the sample file query and the transform file query. The reason for that is that this transform file query is in fact a copy of this other query here, transformed, um, rewritten, let's call it like that, as a Power Query function. So this sales reports data query only needs the sample file query and the transform file function query to work and then this the sales reports data file also feeds a sales final query so finally this sales file final query depends on all the other previous queries that we that i showed you to work properly so let's go case by case let's close this and let's close the power query editor so the most simple case, let's say the products, let's open the products query. Products query, we can see we have one, two, three, four steps here. It can be four steps, it can be a hundred steps. The way to copy one query from one workbook to the other one will work as easily and as the same way, no matter how complex the query is. So we just need to right click on top of the query we want to copy, select copy, Go over to the second workbook, make sure you have the queries and connections pane open, right click on the pane and choose paste. And just like that, if I open the query, I can see I have the same exact steps there. It's copied. I don't need to worry about it or I don't need to waste my time recreating all the steps again. How do you like that? In some situations, if these query that we copied 
needed, let's say, a table on the workbook that existed on, on workbook one, you will receive a notification, an error alert on the second workbook saying that something is missing. For example, that table that was the data source, if that table does not, if a table with the same name and same columns does not exist on the second workbook, you will get some errors and you just need to fix that by cre recreating the table on the second workbook or by pointing the query on the second workbook to the first to the table on the first workbook you need to amend the, the source step okay so let's close this second workbook without saving and i'm going to open it again and this time we are going to look at a situation where i want to copy the query that brings data from a folder so that's the sales reports data query the same way just go to the second workbook to the data tab queries and connections to open the queries and connections pane there on the first workbook click on top of the query that you want to copy right click select copy go over to the second workbook on the queries and connections pane, right click and click paste. And that's it. Remember that that sales reports data only dependent on the transform file function and the sample file query to work. And when pasted, not only Power Query copied the main uh, query that I wanted to copy, but also very kindly it copied all the other queries that the first one need to work properly. Isn't that great? Finally, let's close this without copying, without saving, I mean. Let's open, reopen the second workbook again. And let's look at the situation where I want to copy the sales final report that, as you may, may remember, was dependent of all the other queries to work. Same thing. Let me just first open the data query, the data, the queries and connections pane. Okay, same thing. If I want to copy this query, sales final, right click on it, select copy, go to the second workbook, click on the top of on the queries and connections pane and choose paste. And look at that. It brings us all the queries that the sales final report needs to work. If we right click on one of the queries to open the Power Query Editor and go to View Query Dependencies, we can see that all the relationships that we saw before between the different queries was preserved and is all mounted here on the second file. We don't need to spend the same time recreating all the queries again. Some people sometimes they think that uh, a way to copy is to come to the advanced editor query by query and copy the code. But as you saw, you don't need to do that. Uh, however, if you needed to work with the code, you, you were interested in copying the code, in fact, and work with the code outside the Power Query Editor, for example. There's another way of doing it, and that is just by opening your notepad or any other text editor program. And again, go to the query you want to copy. Let's say it's the sales final. Select copy. Go to your notepad right click and paste and boom look at that we have all the codes not only from the sales report the final where is it the sales final query that we copied but because this query needs all the other ones to work properly it also excel also brought all the code from all the other queries. To separate the code uh, from one query to the other one, we have a line of code that sli starts with uh, slash slash before the name of the query, 
to indicate this is a, a commented line of code, so it's not a, a line of code to run, it's just a comment, and it indicates the name of the query. Here is where this first query ends, and then we start here the second query and so forth. So if you needed the code for some reason, here you have the code, even identified and everything on your notepad. So that's it. I hope you like this tip. Remember to subscribe if you are interested in receiving a notification about future tutorials and give it a thumbs up to this video if you thought it was useful for you. Thank you so much and we'll talk soon.